the Expert New Now video. Uh, this video is about a JTAG slash RGH uh, tutorial on how to um, play emulators and play like PS1 games, uh, Genesis games, Sega Mega Drive games, uh, you know, uh, all the old uh, games that you get like in arcades where you would put money in, so let's say like Mortal Kombat. Um, the original Metal Gear Solid on the PS1, um, Earthworm Jim, Ridge Racer, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the PS1 emulator. So what you want to do is you want to download uh, the file in the description. And once you have that file, uh, let me quickly... Where did I put it? Right, so this will be the PS1 emulator, so it will be like this. Now what you want to do is you want to extract this to your desktop. You won't get this patch uh, underscore mp.ff, I put that in there earlier. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is you want to copy all of that to the desktop or move it, actually move it to your USB stick. So. Yeah, because that will be easier, because that's where we're going to have to put it anyway. So, once you've got that on your USB stick, you should have that, that, and that. Now, you won't have MK Trilogy, Metal Gear Solid, Resident Evil 2, because they are the games that I've put in it. Now, uh, say if you download a PS1 game, uh, I would recommend this website here. It has all the ROMs for every emulator, so... Um, if you're you, if you're downloading MAME, then you would go to the MAME uh, ROMs, uh, you know Genesis, um, SNES, Super Nintendo, um, Nintendo 64. You know any any ROMs you want, you would go in here, and there'd just be loads and loads of like games to download. Now, because we're doing PS1, um, I downloaded. Uh, I've downloaded Mortal Kombat Trilogy uh, Europe version. Now, sometimes you may get a lot of files like this, but all you have to do is extract them and put all of them on your USB stick. Now, you don't need to copy the re you don't need to extract the README because that's just showing you the website where you got the file from. So. Yeah, once you have all of them extracted, I'm not going to show you now because it's quite a lot of memory, so it's going to take me a while to do that and then to put it in the USB stick as well. So it will probably take about 50 minutes. So that's why I've already got these in. So uh, what you want to do is you can make a folder and call like whatever you want. So if you downloaded MK Trilogy, then you put the folder name as MK Trilogy, and then you just put all the files in there. So now, how the PS1 emulator works, um, this is actually booting from Zell. So what Zell is, is when uh, when you when your uh, JTAG RGH is off, and you press uh, the the open trick, uh, disk tray button instead of the power button, you'll get a blue thing on the screen and it will basically tell you your CPU key and all of that now that's what we need uh, to come that's what we need we need that to come up to load the PS1 emulator now you don't uh, the reason why you have to do that is because it's not an XEX you can't load it from uh, Freestyle Dash or XEX menu there are emulators out there that can do that but I've heard that doing it this way through Zell and with this file uh, it's actually a lot clearer and it's not as like bad graphics somehow like they've smoothened it down so uh, yeah I pref I'd uh, advise you to do the same and not do it for like an XEX so yeah once you have all your files downloaded um, you're ready to play so I'm gonna now turn on my Xbox screen unplug my USB stick and show you on my screen Right, so now uh, Zell is just loaded for me on my JTAG. 
and what you want to do is you don't want to touch your controller while this is doing this so you just want to wait until it finds the USB stick and now it's just found the USB and it's loading so now this is the PS1 emulator I was talking about so now you can switch your controller on now the files that you put in US on your USB so the files so I put Mortal Kombat so what you want to do to load the game is you want to load the game so now it will show you all the files that are on your USB now some ROMs are glitchy and some of them are slow so uh, you might need to go to different websites to find a perfect ROM so the game runs smoothly so uh, in this tutorial I'm just going to play MK Trilogy now um, what you want to do is you just want to click the it's usually one so as you can see there it says two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, it's usually the first one that's the actual game so now uh, it will load the game in about 10 seconds and there as you can see we're now playing on a PS1 game Now, like, like I said, this isn't an XEX, so you can't launch this through XEX menu. But basically, this is the same way how you would do it with SNES 360 or whatever emulator you're downloading. Most of them are XEXs, so you can load them from uh, XEX menu. And there should be a file that comes with them emulators as well, called ROMs. And that's where you would put the games. So, um, you would download... Uh, you download the ROMs from the website so let's say you're downloading uh, SNES games and you want to download let's say uh, Mario uh, Mario World you would just put the um, you would just put the file uh, the game file that is not a folder just the game file in the ROM section what comes with the emulator and then what you want to do is you just want to load the default XEX in XEX menu and yeah it will show your game when it loads up and you'll be able to play the game Shao Kahn. it's a shame that they didn't put this one on the Excellent. Xbox 360 because they put the ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and then they did the arcade collection mods 1, 2 and 3 but this is the best one they ever done I mean, it's basically the same as UMK3 but this one has like every character in it Fight! As you can see there, the graphics are not really that great, so this is a bad ROM. So I'd need to look for a better ROM. Fight! This one's quite glitchy, it's quite slow as well. And also, the Xbox Live button um, brings up that load game thing again. So if you press the Xbox Sky button, it will be like this. Um, and yeah, hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Uh, if you need any help with anything else, uh, please comment uh, and say what you need help with. And hopefully I'll be able to answer your comment. So yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this.